What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Darian's Pokemon. Today, I'm going to be profit or lossing two Crimson Invasion Elite trainer boxes. These things typically retail for about $40 a piece. Come with eight packs of Crimson Invasion each in them. Also, some sweet dice, sleeves, GX counters, poison burn markers, and uh, yeah, that's about it. I mean, but we've got them for sale right now on our website for $24.99 a piece. So I am going to value them at $24.99 a piece and see if we could turn a profit on either of these Crimson Invasion Elite Trainer boxes. Now, if we were to pull something crazy, like maybe a Buzzwole GX, be pretty easy to turn a profit on these things considering Buzzwell GX is like a $20 card right now so that is entirely possible if we don't pull a Buzzwell GX uh, we could pull a full art supporter any sort of full art supporters are always value and we're going to be looking at those like pretty well uh, I'll do one at a time we're gonna do let's see one two three four five six seven eight great I mean sometimes you never really know with the elite trainer boxes sometimes Pokemon messes those up We've got some dividers. We've got a GX counter. Very cool. Started making those red ever since the Ultra Beast became a thing. Ooh, I forgot a light. There we go. Hey, there we go. A little more bright in here. We got the dice. We've got the energy pack. I knew I was forgetting something. And we've got those Sill Valley sleeves. So let's see how we do on the first one here. A Rainbow Rare Buzzwell GX would be insane. I Ooh, we've got a hit already. It's a Guzzlord GX. All right, in our very first pack there. Feeling pretty stoked on that. Awesome stuff. And then we've also got, eh, that's, uh, that's about it. My buddy of mine, let's see, we built a cube. He had a cube built. That's like a Pokemon draft thing where you like you draft, you make your own decks or whatever. And it was a mutant draft. So that meant that like any Pokemon of a same type could evolve into any other Pokemon of that same type. So all fire Pokemon could evolve in all basic fire Pokemon could evolve into stage one fire Pokemon. And all basic water Pokemon could evolve into stage two. Uh, to stage one uh, water Pokemon and stuff like that, right? So it was pretty fun. I had a great time doing it. However, there was a Guzzler GX in the draft, and I feel like Guzzler GX is just a terrible Pokemon card to include in a draft, and we pointed it out as soon as uh, it was in there. Fortunately, nobody drafted it and did the unfair strategy. If you just put Guzzler GX in a draft, like if you had drafted Guzzler GX and just put, like, we were playing 40 card decks. So if you just done uh, Guzzler GX and 39 energy, there's almost no way you're going to lose the game because you'll just eat, slop eat sloppily, accelerate five energy onto Guzzler GX on the first turn of the game or on the second turn if you're going first, and then just tyrannical hole uh, every single turn for 180 damage and then eventually glutton GX and take all of your prizes very quickly. So, yes, uh, Guzzlord GX, not exactly the Pokemon that you want to see in a draft. Oh, we got a full art Nihilego as well. That is awesome. I love this card. I think Nihilego GX, such a cool Pokemon. And we've got the full art version to boot. I think the full art card of Nihilego is just incredible. I think it is a beautiful card. Awesome stuff. My favorite jellyfish Pokemon. Let's go ahead and, uh, sorry, Tentacruel. Uh, let's go ahead and put these guys in sleeves. I'll put them in upside down. Very good. Perfect fits. Awesome. We'll put Guzzlord in a sleeve as well. See how we do on the second Elite Trainer Box. Did okay here. No Buzzwall GX. I mean, a full art Buzzwall GX would have been awesome, but I do love Nihilego there. The, you know, each of these things here is worth, like, uh, we got a little bit of value out of them as well. You know, dollar here, dollar there. Let's crack this second Elite Trainer Box, see if we could do a little bit better. Two hits in an Elite Trainer Box, though, is pretty good. I usually like to think that, you know, one hit per Elite Trainer Box is a solid turnaround. I definitely am, you know, satisfied so long as I get one hit per Elite Trainer Box. If I get no hits in an Elite Trainer Box, I'm usually feeling pretty salty. So that's, uh, yes, that does happen, though. I definitely have had no hitter Elite Trainer Boxes happens all the time. See, in this one, we do have eight packs. Let's see how we do. Definitely stoked on back-to-back -back eight packs. That is great. I forget what set it was. I was having, like, a lot of trouble. I was, like, open multiple, multiple Elite Trainer boxes that only had, like, seven packs in them or something like that. And I would have felt pretty upset if I had bought those from the store or something like that and only got seven packs instead of eight 
We are two packs down, no hitters so far. All right, still looking here. Still, still looking. And I'm getting ready for the World Championships. I can't wait for the World Championships. Honestly, very excited about the World Championships in Nashville. I'm excited about the new set coming out as well in August. It's just uh, going to be an awesome time. We've got an Alolan Eggman GX. All right, that's our hitter in this box. Two peaking red cards. And Alolan Eggman GX. All right, Alolan Eggman GX. What did you do with my Buzzwell, and where is he at? Looking for a Buzzwell GX, man, but it's all right. We'll take the Eggman. We've got an Eggman and three packs remaining here to see if we can pull these Elite Trainer boxes into a positive. I have a feeling the set is, you know, pretty under-opened. It's probably why Buzzwell GX is just so expensive, because... Not only is Buzzwell GX one of the best Pokemon in standard format right now and expanded format, this set just doesn't have a whole lot in it other than Buzzwell. So it's just a set that's not being opened a ton by card stores. And you can see, I don't even need to break it down. I know we've got a loss, but I'm going to break down these numbers for us real quick and let you guys know how we did on our two Elite Trainer Boxes. After breaking things down, we took a little bit of a loss here, but it's not going to be a loss anymore after this video goes completely viral, am I right? So, we, uh, yeah, we didn't do too hot. It's okay. We've got bulk GX prices on both the Alolan Executor and the Guzzlord GX. They rock $2 a piece. Nihilego GX full art at $4, meaning we've got $8 worth of hits here. We've also got about $4 worth of bulk in our stack we've got 25 cent codes here and it's 16 codes we have got four dollars worth of codes we've got i'm valuing these sleeves at two bucks a piece uh, that's a little generous but two dollars a piece you can sell these for two dollars a piece sure so two dollars sleeve four dollars worth of sleeves we value each of these at about a buck so dollar dice dollar gx counters and i'm going to value the energy at about 50 cents a pack meaning that we opened a grand total of $25 worth of stuff. So since each Elite Trainer box here was worth $25, because that's what we're selling them on our store, that means if you spent $50 on two Elite Trainer boxes, get $25 worth of product out of both of them, then we took a loss of $25. Us as a store spend about $20 a piece on these, meaning that these cost us about $40. Since we only opened $25 with the product, that means us as a store lost $15. But that's all okay because we're going to get tons of views, right? <laughs> so that's it for our profit or loss of Crimson Invasion Elite Trainer Boxes. I don't entirely uh, you know, suggest opening these unless you feel very confident you're going to get a Buzzwool GX. That being said, if you want to crack an Elite Trainer Box, they do have some pretty sweet value in them. You get sleeves, you do get dice, you get uh, energy. If you need energy, you need GX counters, things like that. If you need these things, the Elite Trainer Box is a great place to get them. If you are starting your own collection and $25 is about as cheap as you can find one anywhere and you might just pull yourself a Buzzwell GX and if you pull a Buzzwell GX you are way in the positive considering that's a $20 card itself so if you're interested in one we've got them on dariums.com for 25 bucks thank you all for watching the video make sure to like the video sub the channel ring that bell let me know what do you guys think of Crimson Invasion in the comments below peace